We're about to start planning for our semester. Our semester of nursing school. Welcome back to another video. My name is Sierra. For those of you who don't already know, and I make videos related to nursing, lifestyle, and beauty. If you guys are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I'm going to just be prepping for another semester. In fact, this is my last semester of nursing school. Yay! <laughs> I'm getting ready for my last semester of nursing school. So I just kind of wanted to make another video of prepping for the semester. You guys really liked the first one that I made. So why not just make another prep with me for the semester, for my very last semester. So let's just get right in to it okay so pretty much all of my classes are on canvas i will be taking three classes this semester don't get it twisted these three classes are worth a lot of clinical hours and things like that so three classes might not seem like a lot but it is a lot um but supposedly your very last semester is supposed to be a more chill semester so hopefully we will see the three classes i'll be taking critical competency integration which they call cci and then another class called community health nursing. The last class is called leadership in nursing or something like that. For CCI, I will be preceptor, which means that I will have a nurse preceptor throughout the entire semester. And I'll be assigned, I'll be assigned to a nurse and whatever schedule that nurse works is the schedule that I will also be working for the semester. So I might have to work night shift. I might have to work day shift. I don't really know yet. I don't have my preceptor, but hopefully I will be getting her or him very, very soon. Um, for community health, I will have one class every week on Wednesdays and it's only for six hours, six to eight hours, I believe. And we're just like working in clinics and things like that. And then for leadership, this class is online and we'll be doing like discussion posts and things like that. I will be putting everything into my planners today, going through the syllabus, the syllabi. I don't know the plural for syllabus, I think it's syllabi. Through all the syllabuses, putting everything in my calendar, making a to-do list, and whatever else I feel like I need to do to prepare myself for the semester. I do wanna let y'all know that I do have my digital 2022 planner. That is the one that I will be adding to on my iPad. If you guys don't already have it, you can go to my website, shopnursenews.com, download it, and you guys can plan with me for the semester. I put everything that I love in a calendar in this calendar, so if you haven't already checked it out, go check it out, go download it. It is free, it is for you guys to utilize, and hopefully we can plan together as you're watching this video. So I'm gonna show you guys what my calendar looks like before we get into it so you guys can see what's going on and kind of what it looks like. So many of you guys know that I use Notability and this is what the app looks like. I recently changed it to where I have these colored tabs. Here is where I have my calendar. Um, here is the tab where I can kind of keep everything in one simple space. This is what the first page looks like. This is the 2022 overview of the entire calendar. And then we have some little quick tabs here, like with vital signs, the BMP, the CBC, if you guys need to reference these numbers, they are here in the calendar. We have a conversion chart for dosage calculations, a quick EKG interpretation, um, a quick fluid and electrolyte um, tab where you can learn quickly about all these things, use as a reference if you need them. They are here. We have a skills tracker. If you guys want to track the skills that you have, you can put NG insertion, IV insertion, whatever skills that you put, you can put the date and whatever the skill that you did. And there's two pages for that. Um, and then here it jumps straight into the entire month of 2022 for January. And every single month there is a quote that I've heard from a um, patient say to me before that I thought was funny or I thought was cute or something whatever probably not cute but something that I thought would be cool to include in my calendar you will see a lot of these quotes have something to do with poop because that's what patients like to talk about so for every single month there is something new and as you guys can see I have planned a little bit for each month already but January is where I put all these headers here just so I can stay on track and Remember how I color code each class. So 
these are the colors that we will be focusing on because these are the classes that I will be taking. So I'm going to be planning CCI, like I said, leadership and community health. I have community health on Mondays from 2 p.m. to 4. CCI is from 9 a.m. to 12. And then this is for clinicals on commu for community clinicals on Wednesday, which is from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Or 8 a.m. to 4, whichever one it is. I just didn't write it down yet. Classes will start officially on the 18th. And this is where I will be planning everything. I just kind of wanted to give y'all a quick overview of the calendar. Like I said, there is all of the months of 2022 with really funny quotes in each month. So if you haven't already downloaded, go get it right now because we're about to start planning for our semester. Go download it right now. So I haven't started doing any planning for the semester. Some of that is because I am just enjoying my break. I'm trying to take a full break, which is usually not possible in nursing school. And then the other reason is, is because they haven't posted anything to Canvas. Well, not everything, which is kind of annoying because then it's like you want to get ahead, but you can't get ahead because they haven't posted anything. So for my CCI course, my critical competency tech integration class, they haven't posted the syllabus. So I can't plan anything for that class. Um, the only class that they have posted fully is my community health class, so that's technically the only class that I can plan right now. Kind of sucks, but that's the only thing that I can do, so what can you do about it? So I'm going to be planning that class, since that's the only one that's posted so far. Uh, my CCI class did post about day one, how day one will go. They said greetings, all our very, our very first class, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. For my last semester of nursing school, they have transitioned transitioned back to online learning for the first three weeks of class. So we will be learning on Zoom again for everything that is in class. Like we won't be going to campus. We won't be mm -hmm. having actual lectures because it is online. And we will be doing our labs and stuff in person clinicals will still are still expected to be in person so we will see as the semester goes on but like I said from my CCI class she posted about our very first day That's all we know about CCI that it will be on zoom on Tuesday at 9 a.m. That's all we know. I'm sure she's going to tell us more on Tuesday and open up the class so we can plan and things like that. Hopefully, but we'll see. And as for my community health class, they have posted a lot to Canvas. And they have this homepage where it kind of tells you where to start. Always start where it says start here. They have modules, announcements, student instructions, syllabus, and instructor info. Like I said, I usually always go to the syllabus first, but I'm going to go where it says start here because that's where they tell me to start. It just goes over all the policies, the course policies, what you'll need for the class, what computer skills. This is just basic things that they add for every single course. So I usually just skip past that. And then things to do first. So here we go. We're going to review the entire course canvas, the syllabus, the calendar, announcements, etc. We're going to under the assignments tab. Find the following acknowledgements. Acknowledge everything that you need to do, such as the syllabus, all the handbook acknowledgements, the clinical evaluation acknowledgement, print out the bloodborne pathogen insurance card, and then get the ebook and complete all the modules online. I'm gonna go through the syllabus, read through it, and then go back online and acknowledge everything, such as like the syllabus and all these things. These are like little assignments that they want everybody to do, and you literally just upload your name that says like I acknowledge or something like that. And that way, if you don't have that, you're not allowed to get points for the semester. So you always have to do this at the beginning of the semester just to say that you have read through everything, you understand it. Um, the Bloodborne Pathogen Insurance Card, we get like a little insurance card every single semester for school. Um, and this just says like technically if we like hit ourselves or stick ourselves with a needle, God forbid that happens to anybody, but if it does happen, which it has happened before to someone, um, if it does happen, you use your BPP insurance card and you can also use your own insurance card, but we're always supposed to carry our BPP insurance on us when we are at clinical.
for the rest of the semester. I filled out my calendar on my iPad according to all the classes that were available, which was only one class. Nursing school can definitely sometimes be unorganized and it doesn't necessarily get better, but you kind of just roll with the punches, you stick with it, and you get through it. But I filled out every single month. I filled in all of my org stuff that I had to do. I filled in pretty much everything that I was given. I went online and did all my syllabus acknowledgements and things like that that I had available. I also went ahead and bought a calendar, paper calendar. This is from Walmart. I don't necessarily like the design, but I did buy this specifically so I can write on paper too. Um, last semester I went completely digital, digital notes, digital calendar, digital everything, and I do miss writing on paper so I made sure I went ahead and got a actual handheld calendar to where I can write things down and have two things at once because it's, I feel like to me it's good to have something that I can have in front of me and also something on my iPad since I take all my notes and everything else on my iPad. And if anyone has any questions about my iPad, I did upload a video about how I use my iPad. You guys can check it out. I'll leave it like at this timestamp above. But I did go ahead and write everything down in this calendar. The leadership course is not posted yet, so I wasn't able to write anything about that. But that's going to be in like this tannish color, community in brown, CCI in pink, and then all the orgs that I'm in in all these different colors. And so I'll be taking my next math exam on Tuesday, the first Tuesday of class. And then we have lab days. The first day is online. The second day is actually in the lab on campus. And then I have, I went ahead and planned a third exam just in case I might need it. God forbid I don't need it, but just in case I do, I planned ahead. And I will have things for SGA that I have to do that day. And then here's the first day of class on the 24th. And I also have the focus org that I'm in every single Monday night, which is basically like a Bible study group. On Tuesday, I have a meeting with my org. And then throughout the rest of the week, I have some other stuff that I have to do with other orgs. And this is just pretty much everything that I was able to plan out so far.
that is pretty much all I have for you guys this week in this video I hope you guys enjoyed this video planning the very last semester that I have nursing school with me if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me um, I hope you guys are preparing for your semesters and are ready for what's to come I'm wishing you guys all the best don't forget to always be kind love yourself and others and always go out and try your best and I will see you guys in the next video bye